In this section, we are going to extend our project with the new login method. By the end of this video, we will be able to log in with the username and password that we will pass along with the request body. In Eclipse, we will first go over the classes that are important here. In the Security Config class, we have made some changes that we want to go over. We have configured a request matchers for our new endpoint. Everyone has access to this endpoint. We have configured the token by body endpoint in this filer chain because there is no HTTP basic possible here. Second, we have a new bean to configure a new authentication manager. It is the best way to create a new authentication manager and not to modify the existing authentication manager. We provide with this authentication manager, the user details service and the password encoder. These two are really needed. The third, application event publisher is optional. This one is only needed if you want to use the authentication success event and authentication failure bad credentials event. The next new class is a record login request with username and password fields. Finally, there is the auth controller where we created a new method token by body. Here we have a request body annotation with the login request and the newly created authentication manager. Otherwise, this method is the same as the token request. We can now start and test the project. After starting our project, we go to Insomnia. Here we see the operation of our new endpoint. Token by body. As you can see, the HTTP basic method is disabled. And we have a new body with JSON method. Here we provide the username and password to the request in JSON format. When we send the request, we get back the JWT token. That's it for today.